Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our Jazbees Six Box Championship Week Football Mixer. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There it is on the 15th. There's all the people involved in this one. Patrick K, Packers, Last Spot Mojo. There's everybody else. Thanks, everyone, for rallying around this one. And here are our six boxes right here. One, two, three, four, five, and the mini helmet. We'll do that last. Uh, let's go. Should we go in the order of year? Sure. How, what about we start with 2014 certified, uh, totally certified football. Totally, brah. All right, good luck, everybody. We got Calvin Benjamin, 72 out of 100. Rookie roll call. Relic for, for Jacob and the Panthers. We got Chris Borland. Autograph for the Niners. That'll be for... For Philip and the San Francisco 49ers. Got gold Tony Romo and Austin Saberian Jenkins jersey and auto. Rookie jersey auto going to the Buccaneers. Josh Rodriguez with the Bucks. Is that numbered? No, it doesn't look like it's numbered. Romo is 23 to 25. And Nate Washington Relic. Certified Fabrics for the Titans. And that'll go to Kevin Manning. Game War Material. All right, what's the next year after 2014? 2016, Panini Absolute Football Premium, Retail Premium Edition, Premium Retail Edition. A Premium Edition. A Retail Exclusive Edition. I feel like I'm pl playing Operation here. When's the last time you guys played Operation? You guys remember the game Operation? Wonkovator says 1985. Do they still make it? They must. They must still make Operation. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they must license the hell out of it. Chad's like, I played SpongeBob Operation with my kids. There you go. Is it still fun? I kind of like that game. That was... Jordan Reed, red zone, and that reveals a DeAndre Washington Rook Inc. autograph.
Chad, Chad's confirming. Yeah, they have all kinds of different ones. Silence of the Lambs edition. SpongeBob. Star Wars. Did did your kids show any aptitude for being a being future surgeon, Chad? I feel like that's that's the test, right? It's like let's see if the kids are good at could be a future surgeon on hand here. Rook Force, what up, Doc? Josh Doxon. And that'll be for Patrick K and the Redskins. Chad says no. No kids did not show aptitude to be a sir. Okay, well, we'll we'll lead them. We'll lead them to another another path then. All right. Um, 2008. So all the rest are 2018. So I guess we'll do we'll do these. Then we'll do that. Then we'll do that. And we'll do this first. Yeah, you, th you think the odds are odds for mixers aren't great? People love them. People people ask about mixers all the time. But I, I always thought it's it would be hard to kind of hit in mixers because they're like individual boxes from from cases, you know. But I think people like the variety. But that's the that's the trade off, I think. But people like doing them, so we say we say okay. I think really, you know, the mixer you're just chasing whatever's in, in like the the anchor of the mixer, right? Which would be that mini helmet. So you're like, oh, I'm gonna chase mini helmets. All right, let's try to do that. Let's see what happens. I think it's great for, I think it's great for people who are, you know, not as uh, somewhat somewhat new to the hobby, and I, because it's like a sampler platter, right? You get a nice little sample from other stuff, and every once in a while we do hit some really big things in the mixers. Oh, Frank, you want case mixers? That'd be interesting. Case mixer would be interesting. Lamar Jackson's interesting right here. 44 out of 99 for the Ravens. And a downtown Deshaun Watson. Oh, I see. That's how you got stuck with us, EA? Oh, you did a mixer. His your first mixer was on Jaspies. You hit a one of one 2016 Derrick Henry. And it was game over from there. That goes to um, Josh Rodriguez and the Texans. Nice. And our autograph is on card auto of DJ Left Shark for the Jaguars. That'll be for Mark Nation and the Jags. Ethan's saying everyone's talking about Ant Antonio Brown leaving this offseason, but we're forgetting that A.J. Green and Julio Jones are also free agents, are they? I thought Julio Jones got extended last year, didn't he? Or maybe it was years ago and now time's up. Leonard Fournette, 299. Nice. Out of what product, David? Marshawn Lynch to 149. Chad says, I take that back. That Marcus Allen, one of one I hit last night, was in a mixer. All right. 
I don't know. I'll bet. I'll bet. I'll bet you. If we look back on all the mixers we've done, they they may have just as much variance in what you could hit big or not, just as just like any other case. Black velocity, DJ left shark. I think. I think the thing is, it's uh oh, out of two ninety nine, Damian Radley. I think it's harder to kind of predict. Like, like, you know what I mean? To predict what teams are going to hit, right? In contenders, you watch enough contenders full case breaks, and eventually you'll be like, okay, these teams seem to hit a lot. Those teams don't. This team has the high risk, low risk, high reward. This team's high risk, high reward. You know, you can figure that out. You can play that game. It's harder to do when there's individual kind of loose boxes being put together. So I think in that respect it can be a little more difficult to try to figure out, hey, what team is good to get in a mixer? We did random team mixers for the longest time because it was just easier to do that way. So, I don't know. It, I'll, I'll bet if we look back across all of the mixers we've done over time, I'll bet you they're, they're, they're just as, uh, they're just as, uh, you know, just as varied as there's just as much variance in there as any case break too. Uh, it does. It will, but it wasn't numbered. Those aren't numbered, so I don't set them aside. Our we have a sorting team that does the rest of this. Josh Allen autograph, nice, but that will ship. Only only veteran commons won't ship. If that was a rookie Mariota. I would have pulled it aside. Bills, see, Conrad. There you go. Conrad likes mixers. 25 out, 25 out of 50. And Dylan Contrell, 8 out of Leighton Vanderish, Sam Darnold. All right, so yeah, Brandon, I think it was Brandon who was saying that Julio Jones is locked up. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Look it up on a uh, on Spo. Now, now you got me curious. There you go. Check out that link right there. Um, who, who do you think would be worth it in terms of what, EA? All right, second to last box. And Antonio, we're, and Eric, were you saying Antonio Brown to the Titans? That could be pretty good. They got Derrick Henry. They got to keep Mariota healthy. I feel like we haven't really seen his full potential because I feel like there's always like some sort of he's always banged up. They got to keep him healthy, and then yeah, give him a give him a dynamic pass catcher. You know, and it's not like Antonio Brown has to. Not and, he, and Antonio Brown isn't like a, although he can. He's just, he's not like a hey, you know, you just you just streak down the sideline and you throw bombs to him. You could, but he's also a good route runner, and I think. For that kind of Titans offense, that'd be perfect. And he can always explode into a big play. Catch him on quick slants and stuff like that. Big play patch, pass catcher. Oh, what? It's just in terms of future value for for football cards? It's generally quarterbacks. They've got the longest career. 
and they're the most they're the most visible. So in terms of like a long term, like who should I hold on to? There's Mike Boone. So it's always going to be quarterbacks. Unless you get some sort of transcendent type, uh, some sort of transcendent type running back, Saquon Barkley could be that guy. So Mike Boone will go to Jeremy and the Vikings. Wes says you'd like to see what a uh, Andrew Luck Antonio Brown connection would be. Alongside T.Y. Hilton, that would be Andrew Luck would throw for 5,000 yards, 60 touchdowns. <laughs> There's Deontay Burnett for the Jets, Jeffrey Punt with that. T.Y. Hilton and, and Antonio Brown would each have 1,500 yards. <laughs> and that kind of aggressive Frank Reich offense. And the amount of space each of those receivers would open up for each other? Be crazy. There's Dylan Contrell, rookie ticket autograph for the Chargers, Chris McKee. I have no idea what the Colts cap situation is. I don't know what they do. Wait, is Antonio Brown, he has to be traded, right? Or is he a free agent? And there's, wow, cracked ice, Richard Sherman. Who was talking about you? Crabtree. Four out of 24 for the 49ers and Phillip. Nice veteran ticket cracked ice autograph. It still, still looks weird in a... Uh, that's a nice hit. It still looks weird in a Niners uniform, though. There's Traquan Smith on card auto for the Saints. Michael with that one. Right, yeah, Young Money's saying he has to be traded. All right, so it's like you have to have you have to have the pieces to trade for him and you got to pay him. All right, I think I'm with EA. He'll probably end up back with the Right. Antonio Brown ends up back with the Steelers. Bryce Harper ends up back with the Nationals. Manny Machado goes to the Dodgers. There you go. There's your offseason, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there's Marvin Jones Jr. There's your five autographs right there. Nice cracked ice in a mixer as well. And the mini helmet. Once again, college rules apply. The There's no checklist. We use our college rules or non-pro team uniform rules, which would be if they're a, an active player, they'll go to the team they're currently on. If they're inactive, they'll go to the team they played for the longest, et cetera, et cetera. Although this has their pro team on it. It's going to be, you want to play the Who Am I game? we got time for a Who Am I game. No one's placing orders. I only see one order in here. Okay. We'll play it. We have time for the Who Am I game. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Who am I? I was born in San Jose, California. I played for three different teams. Two-time Super Bowl champ, Super Bowl MVP, an NFL Comeback Player of the Year, AFC Rookie of the Year, a Heisman Trophy Award winner, a Maxwell Award winner, Walter Camp, Sporting News Player of the Year, UPI Player of the Year, Consensus All-American. I'm a Hall I'm a College Football Hall of Famer. I'm a quarterback. 
through my career yards, 25,882, 164 passing yards, 198 interceptions. Born in San Jose, California. Who am I? I went to, should I tell you the college? I went to Stanford. And I was drafted in 1971. This is going to give it away. I was drafted in 1971, round one, pick number one. In the 1971 draft, played for the New England Patriots between 1971 and 1975. That's not this helmet. Played for the Niners, 1976 to 1977. Again, not this helmet. But this final team that I played with from 1978 to 1986 is the helmet inside. Who am I? There you go, Brandon. For the Raiders. Jim Plunkett. Raider legend Jim Plunkett. Cast away by the Patriots. Cast away by the Niners. Goes to the Raiders in 1978. Boom. Two Super Bowls. And a move-up. An MVP in one of them, too. We got the the Beckett thing there. There should be oh, there's the Beckett sticker back there, and there's his autograph right there. Nice, there you go. <laughs> right, EA. You, EA said Elway, but the second the second best Stanford QB, Jim Plunkett, uh, and that will go to the Oakland Raiders. Dave Marin with my Raiders. Nice, a little Raider Joe mojo coming at you. And there you have it, folks. That was a that was a quick little six box championship week football mixer. Keep your eye out for more right there on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we will see you next time for the next break.